berries are on the good list when it comes to brain health. Yeah, we're getting tasty suggestions today from our festival mealtime mentor, Lauren Tulig. Good morning good to morning. you. Also, Abby Klein is here from the Alzheimer's Association. Good morning. Good morning. All right, um, I want to start by talking about whether food can really make a difference when it comes to brain health. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you think about brain health, and what, really what we want to do is find foods that promote really good blood flow to the brain. Okay. So it's very similar to like a heart-healthy approach to okay. eating. Um, so when we think about heart healthy, we think about foods that are high in those heart healthy fats, um, whole grains, fruits, vegetables. So it's a very similar approach when we're talking about brain health. Sure. Abby, how critical is it for people to really think brain health at every age and stage of their life? It's super important. And we're really driving this message home this month. June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. And the point that we want to get across is that everyone is at risk. If you have a brain, you are at risk for Alzheimer's. So it's not something that... Um, you know, only affects you if you have a connection or your family history, no matter that, no matter your age, um, everyone has a risk of it. So it's something that everyone should be aware of. And while there's no prevention, there are ways to reduce your risk. So like food and okay, healthy so, living. Yeah, you guys have teamed up together this month yeah. to really promote some good things that we can pick up in festival. Let's go through some of the items Yes, yeah, so research has shown that a Mediterranean diet um, can promote both heart health and brain health. So these are some foods that kind of fit into that approach for eating. Um, so as oil, I mentioned, no yeah, so these are kind of our heart healthy fats over okay. here. So our heart healthy oils like olive oil, canola oil, um, really any of those types of vegetable oils. And um, then we've got chia seeds. So chia oh. seeds are actually a source of omega-3 fatty acids, um, which we can only get from our diet. So important to make sure we eat sources of those or supplement. Um, another source of those omega-3s, um, salmon is one. Um, you can always do fresh salmon. It's great on the grill mm -hmm. this time of year. Um, but this is just a convenient option for lunches on salads, sandwiches, you name it. Um, and then walnuts as well. Wal walnuts are also a source of those omega-3 uh, fatty acids. And then we love avocados, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Everyone always thinks of almonds, too. Yes, and all the nuts are great for us, um, but walnuts specifically are the only nuts okay. that have those omega-3 fatty acids. Gotcha. Okay. You guys recently had a recipe for muesli um, on one of our segments, yeah. and we were really intrigued by it because it seems really simple to make and incorporate into our diet. What is it for those folks who don't know? So muesli um, is actually made up of just oats and it's very similar to a granola but it's actually a lot lower in fat calories and then sugar um, so it's not really baked or fried if you will um, like many granolas so it's something that it's more of like the raw type oats but you actually just supposed to soak them so you can soak them in any sort of milk almond milk just regular milk um, or even put it into yogurt so okay and quinoa of course yes Very yeah so these are our, our whole grains yeah. of course whole wheat breads things like that um, but quinoa is one of those um, whole grains that are also high, really high in protein. Okay, and we mentioned the berries. What else do we have on this side? Yeah, so um, I wanted to bring in some of our new options for vegetables because usually, you know, berries and all that great stuff in the summer months, easier for people to eat than vegetables are kind of always the yeah. wah, wah, I don't love vegetables. <laughs> um, so wah, we're wah. trying to come you up. like my kids. <laughs> Everybody feels that way. Adults too. <laughs> We're all in this together, but um, so these new um, bags that we have in our, our produce department, um, they're steam bags, so actually we have a many different varieties. Some are plain, some have different seasonings, oh. or even a little bit of butter added to it, um, but it's great because you just pop them in their microwave and they're good to go, and they're delicious. They cook them perfectly. Okay, fastfoods.com, what's your website address, Abby, for? alz.org slash gwwi. Okay, wonderful. Put a link on our website. Thanks for being here, you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.